Have the Bucks turned it around? Is the mega facts frequency X question that should maybe just maybe be asked frequently, man. Man. Shout out to Damian Lillard, man. Um turning back the clock. You know, about eight months back, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, going off. Um, you know, being able to take as many shots he wants with no discretion. Um, even though Kumpo has been saying for months that this is, you know, so called his team, even though everybody knows it's not, we believe over here with these mega facts that Kumpo was saying that so Damian Lillard could get more comfortable out there, jack up more shots. Listen, man, we, you know, uh, said that Kumpo to take a step back offensively so Damian Lillard can do things like this, you know. Just, you know, you let Damian Lillard do his thing, do his Portland Trailblazer thing. Um, And, you know, eventually people are going to have to put way more respect on Damian Lillard's, you know, talent uh, as an NBA player. And Kumpa will be much more, you know, open in the paint, uh, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clippers, man. I mean, man, another marquee game that you took a L in. Markel, should we call you that? Listen, man, shout out to Markel, folks. You know what I'm saying? Who would have thought that Ben Simmons, uh, he'd be better than Ben Simmons? You know what I'm saying? After what we been seeing as far as him losing his mojo. And Ben Simmons wasn't far after, uh, you know. Now that we think about it, listen, man. Clippers lose all marquee matchups. We're going to call them Markel until further notice. You know what I'm saying? No relation to Markel, folks. Shout out to the Clippers. But can you do anything other than Clip, man? Can you do anything other than Clip, man? Shout out to Paul George. He was out there. You know, no hustle, Lesbrook, tonight. Um, uh, It's... I don't I don't understand. I really don't. It's um this is this is uh, how, how do you keep doing this? Clippers. How do you keep doing this, man? How do you keep doing this, man? Damian Lillard is a perimeter player. You guys are all perimeter guys. Paul George, Kawit, one point in the in the fourth quarter. Uh, by the way, um this is crazy. The beard and listen, you're not a he's not a real defender. We can't, you know, but I'm saying you got Norman Powell out there. You got Terrence Mann out there. He does this thing on the on a defensive end. You know what I'm saying? Uh I, I this is this is this is this is pathetic, man. Um Damian Lillard was all you had to stop, man. You know? It's not like you had to you you didn't need a game plan of just let Damian Lillard go off and stop everybody else from doing their thing. No, all you had to do was stop one guy and you got all of these perimeter players, defensive-minded players on the perimeter, and that's supposed to be your strong suit um, as far as a matchup. And you got clipped, man, without Kumpo out there on that court. And that's crazy. Uh, we understand that, you know, you know. Listen, they not they wouldn't be harder to to guard because you know what you got to do to stop these guys, man. On the Bucks with no Kumpo, what, what's what's going on? Shout out to Doc Rivers, man. Um, uh, man, the Bucks six game winning streak. Um, you know we believe over here that uh, it took a while. For these guys to, you know, uh, get acclimated to the system that Doc Rivers implemented. Um, But, man, you know, once teams catch up to this format and and, uh, style of basketball that the Bucs play, that's it, man. Um, You know, there will be no adjustments. Um, Can the Bucs, is this good, is this good enough to win uh, a chip? In this, in this groove that Damian Lillard has been in since the All Star break, and including the All Star game, uh, 
you know, it's very possible, you know, very, very possible. You know what I'm saying? But it seems as though Damian Lillard is not as comfortable out there on that court with Kumpo uh, than he is without him. And I don't understand what's, what that's all about. Um, you know, maybe he can't take the... You know, maybe he can't take the criticism that Kumpo's putting on his ass. If he is, we believe he is. Uh, don't see any reason why he's not. If he's cooking everybody else in sight. Um, shout out to Kumpo, man. Uh, Achilles injury. Hope he uh stays out until that is situated fully. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the Bucks, man. This is good. Seems as though these guys are on a roll. Um. You know, uh, this is this is good. This is good for the Eastern Conference, man. Um, you know, can't let the can't let them clovers just you know take off without a hitch. You know, listen, man. Uh, we're not gonna do. It. Shout out to the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? It seems as though they didn't turn it around. And and listen, we are here for it. See what happens. You know, if teams have the proper adjustments to make towards the scheme that Doc Rivers has implemented. And we'll see if Doc Rivers actually makes an adjustment in the playoffs to uh, overcome the adjustments made on him. You know? <laughs>